This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, along with our co-host, Shelly Brown, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. Shelly and I are also very proud to be part of the Real Estate Radio Network. That is a national network of local real estate professionals delivering timely, balanced truths about local market conditions. And with us in studio now, we have Steve Schauer from New American Funding. He's a local lender, has been doing it here for the last 24 years. Steve, welcome back. Hi, Harvey. Thanks for having me. Everyone thinks that the only way you can get a nice low down payment is through FHA, but that's not the truth, is it? Not at all. Not at all. So what's out there for us now? The conventional loan, the conventional 3% down. And and you know, it's funny, I always have everybody ask me, I thought conventional, you had to put 20% down. Right. Everybody always asks. That's the assumption. That's the assumption out there. And they have as low as a 3% down payment now. It's a great (laughs) option to buy. Uh, with the, with the standard being five percent, but the great thing about the three percent is it, it's it's about the same interest rate and it has possibly a little bit less mortgage insurance on it. But the good news about that is is that the mortgage insurance on this you can eventually get rid of get rid of it. Correct. The FHA you can never. So the FHA mortgage insurance is actually higher. Okay. The conventional is lower. The rate on conventional is higher. The FHA is lower. So they kind of balance out. I see. Okay. What's the FICO score you have to have for three percent? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. So 700. you do have to have okay. a fairly good credit score. Right. Is it a, a higher rate than if you put more down, or is it how does slightly? That, how does that work? Slightly more down would get a little bit an eighth about an one so point one three to five, five. It, it goes down or you three you have to go up to ten to get the rate to go down you, no actually that's a misconception also everybody thinks the more i put down the better rate i'm going to get right and that's incorrect oh actually. okay so realistically five percent and and or more down you're about the same interest rate uh now the only the only people out there who don't need a down payment are the vets veterans correct that's, the va is a zero down payment that's a zero down that's payment. the that's the best loan and I've, I've always thought about this, too, is I don't understand why sellers don't really like the VA loans out there. I, I don't get that. There's a misconception about that because they think that if with a VA loan, it costs them money. And it, and it doesn't. And it doesn't. But, no. But, and, and here's the distinction there, and this is an important comment. It's it, 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 What the rule says for the, for the VA buyer is that he can't pay or he or she cannot pay certain things. Correct. But it doesn't say the seller has to pay them. Correct. It doesn't. The, the lender can, in fact, Correct. pay and some we, of And those. we do that. Yeah. We actually do that for the yeah. for the veterans. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So one of the things that you guys do, I know that when uh, somebody says, hey, I want to get a mortgage, um, you'll help them uh, to, first of all, look at their credit. So it's a ma- it, credit's a big factor, of course, on loans. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a major factor. It's one of the things that we can help fix. However, it's also one of those things that you can't just go, okay, do this right away tomorrow, and you'll be set to buy. Right. Unlike a down payment or unlike a job if they got a new job right away or made X amount of dollars. Credit is the one that you really do have to kind of uh, help a borrower with. The, the one thing that we like about mortgages nowadays, no one realizes, is we don't make the termination on loan. It's all on a desktop underwriting system. It's all on an automatic system. So we're sitting there putting this all into the automatic system. It's telling yes or no. Most likely, if you have a high score and you have one minor late pay, you're going to be fine on that. Okay. So it reads the whole risk of a loan and says yes or no. Then our underage are validating that the stuff I put in there is correct. You know, I've, I've heard uh, my clients say this, you know, uh, hey, Harv, before I, before I run out and start looking at houses, I want to make sure I clean up my debt situation. And I'm going to go cancel all these credit cards. Uh, and I'm like, ah, time out. Right. You know, guys, hang on. Talk to your lender first because there's things you might want to do and then there's things you might not want to do. Canceling credit cards are typically no. Not That's a no. It, it, because it, it automatically right off the bat just lowers your score immediately. Right. And that's okay. It, it, it'll lower your score immediately and maybe six months down the road will raise your score above what you were at. Right. But the downside is they're buying right now and it lowered your score 20 points. That could, right. be, that could be a difference of a quarter percent in the interest rate. Uh, what if I have a big balance? Should I pay it off? Do I need to pay it off? No, I even paying off a big balance. So one thing that really affects scores that most people don't realize is let's just say you have a thousand dollar credit limit Mm -hmm. and you owe a thousand dollars on that card. That lowers your score. That could be a 20 point swing in a score. 20 points. Wow. So what you have to do is it now, now you go and just pay that card off. Right. That's another 20 point swing, unfortunately, because you just, now you have that much more available debt. So what I always say is you have to pay it below 50%. You need to pay that thing to 450 and now your credit score goes back up or stays where it was. Interesting. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with hosts Harvey Blankfeld and Shelley Brown. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.